Hi hey guys, welcome back to the farm. Today we're gonna keep going with our series on why you should raise animals. Last time we talked about pigs. Today we're gonna be talking about cats. Just kidding. Today we're talking about chickens. Let's go check them out. All right guys, since we're starting out talking about chickens today, we may as well show you the young ones. We've got our egg layers here in the garage in the brooder box. And the first reason you should start with chickens is because they're fairly cheap to acquire. That can be a good or bad thing. Some people get a whole bunch of chickens and they think they're just these cute little fluff balls and they, they don't stay this cute very long. So. But compared to other livestock, if you're just starting out, chickens are probably the cheapest route to go. And they're fairly easy to acquire. You can get them at feed stores. Um, we get ours from Valley Farms Hatchery. There's plenty of hatcheries you can check out and get your birds from. So they're fairly cheap and they don't require a lot starting out. You just need some heat lamps, some feeders, and some waterers. So you don't need big old fencing, large housing, to start out. Now, most of the times chickens stay in the brooder for about four weeks, and then you're gonna need a different shelter to put them in. But as far as starting out with something not very expensive, you're not gonna break the bank with them, chickens are a great way to start. Well guys, they don't stay cute fluff balls forever. They do grow up and you need to come up with a place to keep your chickens, a chicken coop. Um, a lot of times people do a static coop and that is a good option. A lot of people put a chicken run in it where the chickens can go. We tend, we like to use the mobile chicken coops that we can move around daily. And they're also built with wire bottoms. That way their poop falls through and we don't have to clean anything out so there's tons of options this is the justin rhodes chick shaw with a couple modifications that we made um but the housing doesn't have to be extravagant just needs to keep them out of the wet and out of the wind where they can get warm so you can see they have grown up big for us and they're laying um we do move these every day the chickens poop the most at night and so if you're in a coop, there's gonna be a lot of poop right underneath your roosts that eventually you're gonna to need to start cleaning out. But as far as housing for them, it's not that difficult. That can be, well, you probably, that's gonna be your most expensive thing to get for your chickens is your housing. But once that's done, you have that and you can keep rotating chickens through that and you'll be good to go. The other good thing about the chickens is that they are a small livestock they don't get big like a cow or a couple hundred pounds like the pigs. Um, chickens are small and easy to manage. Usually you're good around your kids. Um, sometimes you get a mean rooster, but go ahead and call that rooster. You don't wanna be dealing with a chicken that's attacking you. But for the most part, they're a small livestock, so they're easy to move, easy to manage, and they're not pushing you around. So if you're just starting out, you want something small, chickens are the route to go. The other good thing about the chickens is if you live in the city, most of the times you can have up to six, 10 chickens in your backyard as long as you don't have a rooster and they'll let you do that. Or if your neighbors don't mind and they keep quiet, you can get them in there as well. So smaller livestock means you don't need as big of an area. So if you're in a city and you're wanting farm fresh eggs, try those chickens. All right, we're back here in our Wellsomer flock. And another reason we're gonna talk about that you should get chickens is that they work for you. These guys are in here constantly scratching, digging, searching, eating bugs, eating ticks. We have put them in with our pigs before and they go in there and they'll eat the ticks so the pigs aren't getting ticks. Um, we've put them in after we've taken the pigs out and they break down the manure. 
you can put them in your garden at the end of the season and they'll scratch and till up that garden and also they're not just scratching and tilling they're putting their fertilizer down chicken fertilizer is great for your gardens sometimes you need to compost it because it's going to have a lot of nitrogen in it but the birds are constantly working so put them to use for you they are good workers if you watch them during the day they're just constantly scratching picking eating bugs grubs and while they're doing all that and they're putting down their manure so it's fertilizing your land it's giving you better grass and just helping you out they are hard workers all right next we're going to talk about our egg laying chickens and I imagine that's probably the biggest reason most people get chickens is for their eggs. And like I was saying in the city, you can have up to six to 10, I guess it all just depends on what city you're in and you can get fresh eggs every day. Now, most breeds will start laying between 16 and 24 weeks, depending on what type of chicken you choose to raise and you will be getting fresh eggs daily in your chicken coop. I'm not sure if there's an animal that is faster than that, uh, maybe some rabbits. I've never done rabbits, but I'm not sure how long they take, but once you get them to age and butcher them, then you've eaten them all. Chickens, you're getting eggs daily. So every day you go out to that coop, you're getting a good source of protein. And let's go check and see what we've got so far. It's before noon. We just had some storms. So I was able to sneak out here in between. It looks like the baskets are full. So we are gonna have a bunch of eggs this evening. And that is just awesome. I think that's what makes chickens the coolest animal to have on your farm. They're small, they don't take a lot to raise, they're fairly cheap, and they're giving you fresh food every single day. Now production does go down in the winter, but you're still getting a couple eggs here and there. So we could talk about the difference between store eggs and farm eggs. Um, that's something you need to taste to know the difference. And you can look things up online where sometimes, most of the time, I believe I was reading, it's two months. The eggs can be up to two months old before they even make it to the store. So there's really no comparison in the eggs when they're outside and being raised the right way. As far as the flavor, the eggs from your flock are so much better than what you can get in the store. Every year after the chickens molt, they start to lay less and less eggs. But the cool thing about the chickens as well is they will go broody. They can hatch out new chicks, or you can take those eggs and you can bring them in and incubate and you can maintain your flocks. And that way you're not constantly having to buy new chicks. So there's another great purpose for raising chickens. They can be self-sustaining. Okay, the other kind of chickens we're gonna talk about are the meat chickens. You can do dual purpose, which are good for eggs or meat, but when we're doing meat, we choose to do the Cornish cross. And what an awesome bird. In eight weeks, you can raise enough chicken to feed your family for an entire year. So other breeds will take a little bit longer, but the Cornish cross in eight weeks, you can butcher. Now that's gonna bring some more money into the equation because if you're butchering enough meat for your family for the whole year in eight weeks, you're gonna wanna have the right equipment. You're gonna wanna get the cones. You're gonna wanna get the chicken plucker. You do not wanna have to pluck them all by hand. For that time that would take forever and not be very enjoyable and i mean it's never fun to have to kill animals but when you know they're feeding your family and your family's getting the best possible meat um it it makes sense so the birds have had a good life as always we get them out on grass within two weeks depending on what the temperature is usually it's four weeks before they're feathered out but in the summer when it's warm we try to get them out in two weeks get them on that pasture they get fresh pasture every day. They're able to live like real chickens, not in a factory. We're moving them on the grass. They're picking bugs and everything else. And the meat quality is so much different than what you can get in the store. It is quite amazing. So in just eight short weeks, guys, feeding your family for a whole year, 
That's, that's a great reason to get chickens. All right, guys, that's gonna wrap up our video about why you should raise chickens. Um, if we forgot something or you know another reason why people should raise chickens, go ahead and put it down in the comments. We appreciate you guys following along. We hope you've enjoyed this series. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button, give us a thumbs up, and we'll see you on the next video.